Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale tracking a chance for some overnight showers. Yes. Nothing super major, though. Nah, tropical moisture coming up from Mexico is already showing up as light showers. And this is satellite radar. It's not really radar so much as it's the satellite interpreting uh, what it's seeing. And it's able to tell you that, okay, I'm seeing rain in the cloud cover here coming up from Mexico. So the satellite has a lot of different uh, channels and frequencies and whatnot, uh, wavelengths that it can see, and that's what it's seeing, some of that light rain coming on up. This is a very handy uh, tool because we don't have radar data, you know, the physical radar uh, in Mexico to report back to you. So now we can look at it with the radar, with the satellite, and see it as radar. It's not as well defined. It's not as uh, you know perfect, but it's it'll do. 76 degrees tonight. It gives us an idea of what's coming up from Mexico. Uh, cloudy and mild. A good chance for showers. Southeast wind, five to ten miles an hour overnight to tomorrow. Yeah, the chance for light showers will increase through 3 a.m., 5 a.m. Your commute tomorrow morning could be a little on the wet side, so be prepared for that as you head out the door. Lots of clouds and a few showers. We've got lots of clouds out there now. 77 degrees, 7 to 8 a.m., and just the chance for showers. Yes, and that's going to be the case tomorrow but a little bit less so. But we're going to swap. So we'll have less of an opportunity for most of the day tomorrow, but we'll have a better opportunity for a couple of thunderstorms mixed in there too. Not expecting anything severe, but we'll hit about 90 degrees by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, we have several things working together to bring us the chance for rain. We have a stripe of low pressure off west of us. We have the sea breeze tomorrow afternoon coming in from the east. So there's a couple of different things. Oh, I dare not forget all that moisture coming on up from Mexico as fuel. So we've got a couple of sparking mechanisms and fuel coming on up from the south. And you can see how that translates overnight tonight, 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. And then, yeah, here you go, McAllen, Edinburgh, um, Mission, looking at the opportunity there, increasing as you head on to 5, 6 a.m. and then 7, 8 a.m. on down through the lower valley. And it, it, it could shuffle in just the opposite. It could slosh the other way. But you get the idea that we have that opportunity because we have those elements for light rain in the morning and through the day tomorrow. But we're going to throw in a couple thunderstorms in the afternoon, as I said. The next 36 hours, Storm Prediction Center says, da. Just some rain and rumbles. Not expecting severe weather out of this as it drives on through the next 36 hours, day and a half. Um, looking at the chance for rain withering on Friday. The weekend looks fantastic, but then next week we've got the next system coming on board. As far as the tropical forecast is concerned, the real focus here for us is Otis that's come on board in southern Mexico. Here is us. Otis is what's shoving everything our way in terms of moisture. So that's really what's going to help for overnight tonight. Now what's going to happen happen next week. Oh, this is big. Big cold front coming on down. It's Monday morning on through Monday. Yeah, 6 a.m. Rain and thunderstorms with this front as it drives on through noon. It pushes through and then it goes down, opens the gate for colder air to come down into deep south Texas. I mean colder. We're going to drop like a rock as we go through Monday into Tuesday. 55 at the time of trick-or-treat, 7 p.m. We, you know, we're used to temperatures in the upper 80s and 90s at this time. 55 degrees when you're heading out to trick-or-treat. Fortunately, though, light showers should diminish, but we'll still have plenty of clouds left over. So, folks, it might be just one dreary, spooky kind of day or night come Halloween, courtesy of that cold front. Big change coming. Big change next week. Well, we are excited for that. Oh, think of all the runs you could do, Brian. I could, yeah. Yeah. To the post office? Yes, or the yard work. <laughs> all right, coming up, we're talking all about sports. We're